Oh, hello there. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I really hope so. Can you believe it? Here we are. I said it would happen, and here I am proving that it is true. It's Mr. Duncan, that's me by the way. Normally I'm in my studio teaching English, but today I am out and about. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that you can hear me. So can you hear me loud and clear? If you can hear me, please say, Mr. Duncan, we can hear you, unfortunately. <laughs> so if you can hear me, please let me know and then I can continue with today's live stream. Yes, I am live from the centre of the place I live in. I'm in a place called Much Wenlock and this is where I live. However, this sleepy town is anything but sleepy today. So when we describe something as sleepy, what we are saying is that it tends to be quiet and relaxed and serene and quite often there are very few people around. However, today it is anything but that. It is very busy, as you can see. There are lots of people here enjoying the Much Wenlock Christmas Fair. So lots of noise, lots of chaos, lots of people. Now, many people ask me, they say, Mr. Duncan, how come we never see you with other people? Well, today, I am literally surrounded by other human beings, to put that right. So here I am now live on YouTube for Saturday. Of course, I was with you yesterday as well, twice. First of all, I was showing you the demolition of the cooling towers at the local power station. And then later yesterday, I was also live on YouTube in my studio. As you can see, it's a little bit windy. So you can see in the distance, the wind is blowing quite strongly. However, I have found a little corner to hide in. So I'm actually near the church in the corner. And if you look behind me, look at that. So can you see behind me, right there? There is the burial site, the tomb of the man who is partly responsible for the modern Olympic Games. And it was Much Wenlock who was inspirational in the reintroduction of the Olympic Games. So this place has a lot of history. There is also many old buildings here, many medieval buildings. <laughs> can, can you hear the angry dog? So I hope you are okay today. Oh, I love, I love dogs so much. On the way here, because I did walk today, I didn't come in the car. Mr. Steve isn't here at the moment. I'm on my own. So I walked into town and there is a special game that I always like to play when I'm walking into town. And that game is try not to step in the dog poo. So it's a special game that I've invented all by myself. So the idea is to try not to tread or step into any dog poo. Because many people around here own dogs. They really do. And they are crazy about dogs, unfortunately. And because of that, quite often you will find, whilst walking along the public footpaths, you will often tread or step into dog poop which of course isn't very nice so just behind me that is the actual tomb the burial place of the guy responsible William Penny Brooks he was partly responsible for the reintroduction of the modern Olympic Games so hello to everyone I hope you are well the weather is brilliant so there is some good news to start with. The weather is absolutely brilliant. So I'm enjoying myself today because there is no rain. It isn't too cold either. So I'm very pleased to see you all here today. And of course, 
The theme today is Christmas. So this is the Much Wenlock Christmas Fair. And this particular event happens every single year around this time. So normally during the first week of December, they will have the Much Wenlock Christmas Fair. So I hope you are enjoying the sights and also the sounds. I suppose I should say hello to the live chat. So can I just say a quick hello to the live chat? I also should say that I might have difficulty reading the live chat because I'm not wearing my reading glasses today. I'm wearing my normal glasses. And unfortunately, <laughs> because I'm a very old man, I have difficulty reading the very tiny text on the screen. So can I say hello to some people on the live stream? I'm not sure who was first here. Hello to Sweetness Mitra. Hello, Luis Mendez. Hello, Luis. Nice to see you here. It is a shame that I'm having difficulty reading the live chat. <laughs> I forgot to bring my reading glasses, unfortunately. So that's the reason why normally I wear my reading glasses when I'm live streaming. It's so I can read the screen. Let's have a look who else is on. Hello also Palmyra, Rosa. Hello also to who else is on. I wish I could see this. Oh dear. There is awful weather in my city. It is very rainy and windy. We had a lot of rain last night and also wind as well. So we've had some terrible weather over the past couple of days. So I am very happy to find that the Much Wenlock Christmas Fair is going ahead without any bad weather. Isn't that nice? Hello, Maruts, watching in Poland. Hello to Poland. How are you today? Very busy. Very busy here in... <laughs> Excuse me. I just have to do a couple of things. Do, 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 do. What I love about this is when people come on and they try to disrupt my live stream. But it's so easy to get rid of people now. You can just press a button and they vanish. It's like magic. I love it. Hello, everybody from Isabel watching in Barcelona. It is bright and good weather in Barcelona at the moment. Very nice. What did you buy at the market? Well, I haven't bought anything yet because I haven't had a chance. In fact, at 1.30, I am going to meet Mr. Steve for a meal. So lots of people here. I was planning to go into the high street, but the problem is there are hundreds and hundreds of people at the moment in the high street. So it is a little difficult to get amongst the people because there are many people all over the place, unfortunately. It is a sunny day in Barcelona, Mr. Duncan. Say hello to Mr. Steve. Well, Steve isn't here at the moment. He is still at home at the moment. So Steve is at home. I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something very interesting, I'm sure. But he will be joining me in town. I don't know if he'll be here on the live stream, unfortunately. I'm not sure about that but we will see what happens. So just in case Steve is watching, Steve, I'm by the church. I am next to William Pennybrook's resting place. <laughs> so now Steve knows where I am and also any stalkers that might be walking around. Hello also to Sassy. Hello, Sassy. What kind of things do they sell? There are many things for sale here. Lots of Christmas items, gifts, lots of toys for sale for children. Of course, when we think of Christmas, we always think of children, don't we? Because I suppose it would be fair to say that... <laughs> I think it would be fair to say that Christmas is for children, isn't it, really, I suppose? <laughs> hello. Hi there. Do you want to say hello? 
Let's have a look. A young lad has just come up to me and he's given me this. So this is Mr. Pelican. Hello, Mr. Pelican. Hello, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Now you have to go back now. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Did you see that? A little child came up to me and, and gave me his toy. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have a feeling that might happen a lot. I have a feeling that might happen quite a few times today. So it's English Addict, but slightly different because I am surrounded by other human beings. I think the kid has just come back. He's trying to, he's trying to appear on my live stream. Hello. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I have a child who keeps running around me and it's very distracting. Well, this is great, isn't it? This is wonderful. I'm enjoying this live stream. Mr. Duncan, how are you today? You are so funny and a great person. Thank you very much. I have a young child who won't leave me alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can go now. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, they always say, be careful who you work with. They always say that you should never work with children or animals. <laughs> I think he wants to come onto the camera, but unfortunately he can't because YouTube won't allow it. Have you heard that? YouTube have gone crazy now. They have gone really crazy. You can't show children on your videos. You can't have children nearby for some reason. I don't know why. Some old man was behind you looking at you curiously. Well, I suppose they're wondering what the hell I'm doing because I am standing here in front of my camera talking to myself. So they are probably wondering what I'm doing. The sun, the sun is coming out. Look, I think the sun is trying to come out. Oh my goodness. Here I am by the church and I think someone up there is being very kind to me today. <laughs> if you believe in that sort of thing. So the sun is out. Yes, there are lots of toys for sale, lots of things for Christmas, Christmas toys, Christmas decorations. There is even a lovely big Christmas tree in the center of the town as well. So everything is looking rather nice at the moment. Can you buy honey in the market? Yes, you can. There are different types of cakes, jam, all sorts of things for sale here. And most of it is fresh. So many people will make their local produce and they will sell it here and also in the farmers market so there is a farmers market which is open during the week on certain days so yes there are many opportunities to buy things <laughs> many opportunities to buy things that are fresh here in much Wenlock for those wondering what is going on my name is Duncan and I'm live from England in a place called Much Wenlock as we count down towards Christmas <laughs> and also the general election which is taking place next week. So a lot of people have been talking about not only Christmas but also the general election as well. Zar Zar asks where are you? I'm in Much Wenlock. So this is the place where I live a small rural town, a place that is very interesting. I thought I saw Father Christmas then. Did you see Father Christmas behind me then? I could have sworn I saw him. I thought he was there, to be honest. So, hello to the live chat. I'm not sure how many people are here, but hello to you anyway. Hello, Mr. Duncan. Can you see any Christmas balls? I can't see any Christmas balls at the moment, but if I go to the Christmas tree, which is in the square, there are lots and lots of big swinging balls on the Christmas tree. It is a little bit windy today, so I do apologise if it is a little windy when the sound is coming out of your speakers. Hello, Berlin. Berlin for you. Is this place far from London? Yes, it's very far from London. A long, long way, in fact. 
all the way in Shropshire. So I am around 160 miles, maybe about 160 miles away from London, a very long way from all of the chaos, all of the political mess that we have here at the moment in the UK. A lot of people asking, Mr. Duncan, are you worried about what will happen in the UK in the future? And I suppose I am going to be a little worried because there might be lots of changes taking place here in the UK if and when we leave the European Union. So if you look behind me, you can see there are lots of stalls. There must be around maybe two, maybe 3,000 people here today. So there are many thousands of people here in Much Wenlock. And the reason why I'm standing here is because there aren't many people around. However, in the town centre, in the square, it is full of people. You can't move. So that's the reason why I'm not doing my live stream from there, because it might be a little bit dangerous to do that. I might not only injure myself, I might also injure somebody else at the same time. How, how, much, how many people live in your city? There are not many people living actually here in Much Wenlock. It is a very small place, a small town. But during the summertime, now this is interesting, during the summertime, we do have a lot of people coming here as tourists. So when people tour this part of the country, they will often come to Much Wenlock. And yes, if you look behind me, you can see a lovely tree. So there you can see. Now those particular trees are called weeping willows because they hang. It looks as if they are crying because the branches hang like this. And as the wind blows, they will sway. They will sway from side to side. Mika is here. A big hello to Japan nice to see you here as well it's a little cold here in the UK <laughs> it was warm yesterday but actually it is a little bit cold and that's the reason why I have my red gloves so I'm going to put my gloves on usually in the center of much Wenlock there are lots of old people instead I can see many children and young people today thank you Anna for that Yes, you are right. There are, there are people of all ages here today, in fact. So there are old people, young people, and even people of my age are here today. That's very old. <laughs> so quite a few people are here, you are right. It would be fair to say that many people who live in Much Wenlock are actually elderly or older. So yes, I think so. I think living here, a lot of people think that I'm very young because when they see me walking around in my hat, they think that I'm some teenager walking around causing trouble. I remember when I first moved here to Much Wenlock, a lot of people were very suspicious because I would often go out filming with my camera. It's not allowed to see children on YouTube. Can you give me some details? Yes, there, there are certain rules that are coming into place now on YouTube where if you have children in your videos or if your video is aimed at children, you have to now tell YouTube. So because my videos are not aimed at children, they are aimed at adults who are learning English, I don't have to worry. So the law doesn't really affect me, but this is a big change that is coming. And there are many YouTube publishers who are so angry because it means, because they talk about movies and computer games and animation, they might have all of their ad revenue taken away. So some very big changes taking place here on YouTube in 2020. Mr. Duncan, in Much Wenlock, it must be better. 
let me just see you must be the better well-known person all over the world thank you Lewis I'm not sure if I'm famous here in much Wenlock I think a few people feel a little suspicious because they often see me with a camera and that's one thing about living here in the UK people are very suspicious they are very paranoid they always think that people around them are doing bad things so I think in this modern day and age many people have become very uh, very paranoid very suspicious of what other people are up to I think that was my neighbor that just went past then did you see that that little man with his hat I think he lives near me I'm sure he does so there are lots of people here of all ages of all abilities and also me as well for those wondering what it is they are watching if you are flicking around YouTube on a Saturday and you have nothing else to do I am now standing in the center of much Wenlock here in England yes Zeba I live a long way from London so this place I'm in now is a very long way from London definitely so I am surrounded by not only living people people who are alive but I'm also surrounded by dead people as well so I'm standing next to many graves there are some some dead people in the ground unfortunately right next to where I'm talking to you from <laughs> which is rather worrying in fact I, I, I've just realized I've just thought maybe maybe I'm standing on top of a grave right now oh dear me. so there are people of all ages oh I suppose I should also mention that there is lots of food for sale here today as well lots of delicious food is available hot dogs beef burgers fresh meat pork lamb maybe chicken as well lots of refreshments so when we talk about refreshments we are talking about not only drinks but also things to eat as well hello to Wilson Wilson Alonso hello to you what type of food do you normally eat in your country well we have a very varied type of menu when it comes to British food so you have traditional food like fish and chips so people always think of fish and chips fish and chips together and you eat them and they're normally fried and many people believe that that type of food is actually quite unhealthy which meal are you eating there thank you Mika for your question I am going with Steve to the copper kettle so we are having our usual Saturday meal at around about 1.30 so in around about half an hour I will be sitting down with Steve and we will be having something to eat can you guess what it is that I'm going to eat today can you guess what today's meal is going to be any idea any guesses anyone you know what I'm having for my lunch today <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'll be able to guess yes I am outside Alan gear and I'm surrounded by people a lot of people think that I never interact with the general public but here I am now surrounded by people many of them are very keen to find out what I'm doing are you having chicken no I'm not having chicken I'm not having salmon today no salmon cottage pie says Mika cottage pie very good guess but no I'm not having cottage pie either can you guess what I'm having oh hello Camille hello Camille it is my first time on your live chat so I guess I deserve a round of applause <laughs> well unfortunately I don't have my round of applause effect here because I'm not in the studio however I will give you a round of applause right now
I hope you enjoyed that. No, I'm not having a hamburger and I'm not having chicken, but you are very near, you are very close with chicken. What am I having today? Bear in mind that Christmas is coming. Is your meal lamb? No, it isn't. It isn't lamb either. So what is today's special Christmas meal that I'm having? I will give you a clue. It's normally what people eat on Christmas Day. So normally on Christmas Day, people will eat that particular thing. Oh, Kashing, Kashing or Kaching <laughs> says, is it turkey? Yes, it is. So today we are having roast vegetables and also turkey because at, at Christmas time we normally eat turkey so a lot of people think that in the United States people will eat turkey during Thanksgiving but also here in the UK we have turkey at Christmas time so turkey is a very popular meat at this time of year unless of course you are a vegetarian in which case it won't hello to Al care hello mr. Duncan are people in this region pleasant and respectful I would say yes many of the people who live here are friendly respectful they are very down-to-earth they are quite friendly so yes I would say so because I've been standing here now for nearly half an hour and the only person who has come up to me is a little child who wanted to show me his toy and that was it <laughs> a very interesting moment of time earlier on hello Tran nice to see you as well <gasps> Palmyra will you be having Brussels sprouts yes I will I am definitely having Brussels sprouts you can't have a Christmas meal without Brussels sprouts I think you have to have them <laughs> so yes I love Brussels sprouts I know a lot of people don't like them but I don't know why I love them very much and of course when you make Brussels sprouts you have to cut the back of the Brussels sprout with a little cross so they will cook quicker is there a cross behind you yes there is there is a cross behind me can I just move my camera ever so slightly so there you can see it yes there is a cross just there and that is the grave of William Penny Brooks who was responsible for the relaunch and the re-emergence of the Olympic Games so that is one of the things or the main thing that Much Wenlock is famous for so because of William Penny Brooks who is now lying over there under half a ton of cement we have the modern Olympic Games well before Hitler got his hands on it and tried to ruin it I do not like Brussels sprouts says Julie I can't believe it I can't believe you don't like Brussels sprouts Julie I love them I tell you what when you have your Christmas meal you could send your sprouts to me and I will have them instead because I love Brussels sprouts very much Alan Gear says my exam has ended today oh well all I can say is I will keep my finger these two fingers I will keep them crossed and hopefully you will do well in your exams Tomek is here hello Tomek nice to see you here as well I don't know how many people are watching but if you are here now watching me I'm ever so pleased that you are you have taken your time to do this today very kind of you isn't that nice so I'm waiting for mr. Steve to arrive he is coming into town later I actually walked into town today I walked into town it takes about half an hour to walk here into town 
So that is what is happening. Do you have a grave behind you? Asks Anna. Yes, I do. As I explained earlier, there are many graves around me. <laughs> so I am standing near not one, but many graves because I am right next to a church. So where I'm standing is right next to the Holy Trinity Church here in Much Wenlock. So that is where I am. And just behind me, there is the tomb of William Penny Brooks, who I talked about later. Hello to, hello to Kieran. We all love you, Mr. Duncan. Thank you very much. <laughs> is the tomb made of concrete? No, I think actually, I think it is granite. So I think it is actually a large piece of stone. I don't think it's really concrete. <laughs> I was just joking there so don't take it too literally 32 minutes I have been with you live on YouTube it is a little bit cold today I must be honest with you it is a little chilly you can see lots of people behind me and many of them are wearing their warm winter clothes because technically it is winter now here in the UK so I suppose we have come to the end of autumn and now winter has arrived so yes it is a little chilly today hello <laughs> did you see that I think someone just gave me a little wave then so lots of people very excited because Christmas is on the way what about you are you going to celebrate Christmas I know not everyone does hello to Allegrizi Allegrizi hello Mr Duncan thank you for your pre Christmas live streams they are amazing thank you very much as well the incredible thing is I am standing here with my mobile phone so this whole live stream is coming to you through my little mobile phone isn't it amazing I can just stand here and broadcast live to the world I love it I love it a lot you can hear some music in the background as well there is actually a large tent over there and in the tent they will have an orchestra playing some lovely songs later on so lots of things are going on maria hello mr duncan i followed you for almost three years but this is my first time i've said hello to you live maria thank you very much for joining me today and this is no ordinary live stream because I'm here at the Much Wenlock Christmas Fair. Oh, the police are coming. I can hear the police on their radios. <laughs> I'm just wondering if they will come over and arrest me. I'm not sure. Thank you very much for your efforts, says Sally. You, we really appreciate what you do. Thank you very much. Audrey says I will be celebrating the new year with my family near the Aegean Sea that sounds like a lovely way to spend not only Christmas but also the new year as well because 2020 is just around the corner the turkey is not here at the moment it is in the restaurant around the corner so Mr. Steve will be coming into town later and we will go for a meal at our favourite our favourite place. We always love to go to the Copper Kettle on a Saturday. Do you already know what you will eat for Christmas and the New Year? Hello Al. Normally on Christmas Day I will have chicken instead of turkey because normally Mr. Steve will cook the chicken and also the Christmas meal and then we will eat it together so normally we don't have a turkey because the turkey is too big for two people <laughs> but of course we will also be visiting friends and relatives as well Zeba says I hope my English will be great like you well if you stay with me 
carry on watching my lovely lovely videos you will have very good English I think so so everyone is here today celebrating Christmas because Christmas is on the way ladies and gentlemen it certainly is is there a thrift shop asks Tomic yes there is there are many shops where they sell antiques and old furniture and small gifts so there are many shops many places to to go into many places where there are interesting things to buy as well <laughs> who is that Tan Chang says Mr. Duncan is a no Mr. Steve sorry Mr. Steve is able to cook he is he's a very good cook Mr. Steve excellent cook unlike me I am not a very good cook I am so bad at cooking I can even burn a salad hmm hello Mr. Duncan are you giving us your live stream on your mobile phone why don't you walk around well the reason why I'm not walking around is because there are many people here so if I start walking around I have to be careful that people don't fall over my camera or trip up so I have to be really careful very careful just in case there is an accident so that's the reason why I'm standing here right in the corner so no one can fall over me or injure themselves hello to oh hello who is that hello to Jen Rose Jen Rose's vlog please visit my vlog my video diary okay then shall we all go there now <laughs> hello turkey is delicious more delicious than chicken I think so I must admit I do like turkey but the problem is if we buy a turkey for two people there is too much left over so it takes many days to eat one giant turkey so normally we we don't have turkey on Christmas Day we normally have chicken instead I know it sounds strange because a lot of people do have turkey on Christmas Day but I'm not thank you for a shout out thank you also for saying hello that's okay Ten Ching says I always knew that you are not good at cooking a long time ago it is true <laughs> I am very good at putting things in the oven but I'm not very good at preparing food so as long as I can take something out of the freezer and put it into the oven then it's easy I can do it very easily anything more than that and I get very confused and normally there is a danger that the house will burn down Palmyra Mr. Duncan how about cooked duck ah that's interesting I am not keen on duck I have to be honest with you I always find duck a little greasy so I'm not very keen on duck I remember when I was in China they used to serve duck quite often and the problem with duck is it can be very greasy and also I don't like the taste of duck as well I, I'm not very keen on duck hello to Helena I just came to say hello and then I must go it is a pity have a great meal Mr. Duncan thank you very much I will be going soon because Steve will in a moment be arriving here in town and then we are going for a lovely meal doesn't that sound nice I have a feeling that there is a live performance taking place over there but I can't really go over there and the reason is because it is very busy here there is a man staring at me standing behind me looking very menacing can you see him he won't go away I have a feeling he might be drunk that's it keep walking keep walking don't come over here don't come over here don't come to me 
No, please don't come over here. <laughs> Can you see him watching me? Just, just, just there. Don't come over here. That's it. That's it. Walk away. Walk away. Nothing to see here. Oh no. No, he's not going. Nothing to see. Please don't come over. Please don't come over here and steal my camera. Is he still there? Yes, he's still there. <laughs> Suddenly, I feel very afraid. No, I think he's gone. Yes, I think he's gone. Phew, that was close. So as you can see, it's not always safe standing around talking into a camera, especially when there are lots of people around you, because anything can happen, because we are live right now at what time is it? It is just coming up to quarter past one on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> and I'm live from the centre of Much Wenlock. It's Mr. Duncan. That's me, by the way. <laughs> Isn't it great? Hello to Palmyra. Hello to Helena. It's a shame that Helena has to go, but I guess Helena has a lot of things to do. That's what I'm thinking anyway. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on what's happening behind me. Is there anything that Mr. Steve can't do? He is really good at multitasking. Steve is very good at many things. He is very good at lots of things. I'm going to get one of those one day. That's what I'm going to have one day. I'm going to have one of those. Did you see that? You see that there? I'm going to have one of those when I get older. Definitely. I can't wait. In fact, I might get one now. So there are lots of people walking their dogs. And as I mentioned earlier, one of the problems of working, walking around here, if you walk around here, quite often you will tread or step into dog poo. It is a little bit of a problem around here. Hello, Zoba. Don't be scared, Mr. Duncan. No, I'm not scared. I'm not afraid because I have you here to keep me company and protect me. So don't worry about it. So I will be going in around about 10 minutes. Is duck a common food in England? I saw that there are many. <laughs> I wish I could read this properly. There are many duck hunts. Yes, some people eat duck, but I wouldn't say that it's a popular meat. I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think duck is popular, to be honest. Quite often you will see it for sale in Chinese restaurants. So a lot of Chinese restaurants will often sell duck. You are so modest. Me? <laughs> Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I hope I will have a friend like you and Mr. Steve, says Sally. Thank you, that's very kind of you to say. I've just realised, I've just realised that I'm now standing in the dark. Because behind me, everything is looking very bright and sunny. But here, unfortunately, I'm standing in the corner by the church, out of the way. So no one will bump into me and knock me over. There are two girls waving at us. Are there? Okay, I didn't see them. There are many people. There are many people. <laughs> I think they're very excited. And who can blame them? So I'm going in just a few moments, in around about five minutes. If you have something to say or ask, do it now. I really hope Mr. Steve will find me. If Mr. Steve does not come here then I will go along to the copper kettle and I will meet Steve there because we are having a Christmas meal today we are having turkey also lots of gravy and sprouts Brussels sprouts as I said earlier you can't have a Christmas meal without Brussels sprouts Mr Duncan don't be afraid that that man will steal your camera we can also we can always shout out and get it back <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> apparently 
there are some very interesting messages apparently according to e-man according to e-man the girls appear to be very fit are you eating some sweets no i'm not i'm not eating anything <laughs> does it look like i'm eating sweets i'm not eating anything however i am very hungry thank you zia thank you very much for your company today i've enjoyed myself the girls the girls seem very excited for some reason i don't know why <sighs> Can you see the joy that I'm bringing to the world? <laughs> I'm glad someone's happy. I can't understand why people feel the need to <laughs> have some minutes of publicity. I don't know. I think some people just get very excited whenever they see a camera. This often happens on the news. I'm sure you've seen this on the news. So maybe there is a news reporter standing in the street doing a live commentary or broadcast. And quite often people will come up behind him and they will do things behind his back or her back. Zola Ziha says, can you come to London? Well, I can't come now, unfortunately. I'm a little bit busy today. But yes, I would love to do a live stream from London, maybe next year. Maybe that is something I can write down on my list of things that I want to do next year. So maybe I could visit London, maybe do a live stream from the center of London. I think those girls are coming back. They're coming back. Are they coming back? Sandra? Sandra? No one calls their children Sandra nowadays. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> London is such a lovely place. Well, it is a lovely place. <laughs> I suppose it depends what type of... <laughs> what, what part of London you go to. I think that might have something to do with it. Anyway, I'm just looking at the time. It's 20 past one. It's almost time for me to go because Mr. Steve will be waiting for me to come and eat some delicious food. Thank you very much, Sandra, for joining me today behind me. Isn't this great fun? Bye, Mr. Duncan. See you tomorrow. Yes, I'm back with you tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. I have been so busy this week. So I'm back tomorrow, 2 p.m. UK time. I will be back in the studio. Everything will be back to normal. Whatever normal is. I don't know what normal is anymore. I don't think anything is normal anymore. Thank you, Rosa. Thank you, Alan Gear. Thank you very much to everyone who has joined me today on the live stream. It's lovely. Thank you very much. Thanks to Sweetness, Mika. Thank you very much to Sally. Thank you very much to Iman. Also, Julie. So many people are saying goodbye. Yes, it is almost time for me to go and have my lunch. Thank you, Julie. Kevin. Hello, Kevin Chung. Thanks for watching today, and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and you know what's coming next. Live from Much Wenlock Christmas Fair, or at least I have been for the last 50 minutes. This is Mr. Duncan saying, thanks for joining me. I have had a great time. I am now going to get something to eat. Thank you also to Dainuz, Luis Mendez, see you later. Also Jerome, Ahmed, Nico, thank you very much for joining me today. We have had so much fun. I hope it's been fun for you because it has for me. Thank you, Mika. Thank you very much. I have to go now because I'm hungry and I need to get something to eat 
just around the corner from me, by the way, there are thousands of people. You can't move. So that's the reason why I've been standing here in this corner. Because if I go around there, I will be amongst thousands of people. So it's very busy here today. See you later. This is Mr. Duncan saying thanks a lot for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this rather unusual live stream from the centre of Much Wenlock in England. And of course, until tomorrow, you know what's coming next. Yes, you do. Ta ta for now.